Welcome to Hawkmire Outdoors. And on today's episode, we're going to be unboxing the Old Hickory Hunter. Yeah, we're going to take you through some of the specs of the knife. We're also going to take it straight from the box. We're going to be cutting a few things with it. We're going to be comparing it to the original Old Hickory knife. And we're also going to be comparing the sheet. So, y'all stay tuned. Well, let's get this video kicked off. Yeah. Hawkins, cut that thing open. We'll cut her open. Hasn't been opened yet, straight from Amazon. Came in today. The fitting to use in the old hickory for us. The old, old hickory. So, straight from the box, we're gonna cut up this potato, and then we'll show you what the contents have in it. Pretty sharp. Now you're gonna try with the uh, paper. Yeah, we'll see what we do paper test here. Straight from it. Oh yeah. It was sharp. Yeah, she just. It's bit, sharp. A little bit of user error. It's sharp from the factory. Probably needs a little bit of honing, stuff of that nature. Mm -hmm. But that well, is the uh, immediately at, out of the package, right there. Let's take a look at just what you get in the box with the Old Hickory Hunter. So it comes in a pretty decent box here. Um, of course you got the knife. It has a little blade cover on there. This is a five inch hunting knife here. Five inch blade on it. You get a sheath. It's made out of it's like some kind of leather. I mean, it doesn't feel the best, but it doesn't feel bad either. It's definitely usable. And some kind of little business card, maybe. It has their phone number on it, so that's good. Uh, in comparison, this is what you get with the Old Hickory Butcher Knife that we've been reviewing on the channel. It's just the knife. This is how they come when you order them. This is a brand new one too. But here's the comparison. This is a five inch blade, this is a seven inch blade. Pretty much the same knife, has the same handles, same hardwood handles, the rivets. But pretty much the same, just a shorter blade. A knife test on Hawkmire Outdoors just isn't a knife test unless we throw it at the throwing tree. No? This is the seven inch butcher knife that we've had on here plenty of times. She goes in a tree easy. All right, the first time ever for the five inch hunter. It'll stick. Now I'm gonna go over the knife and the sheath and the alternative that you can have and the price. So the knife is, the hunter is five inches long, comes with a nice sheath. The uh, sheath has some decent stitching. It also has a plastic lining on the inside. Again, a nice already RF, five inches, that's pretty much a common modification that people do to the old hickory is kind of cut it down a little bit so you don't have to worry about that. Now the things that it doesn't have, it is not epoxied. The handle is not epoxied on here. So that would be a modification. And you're probably gonna have to put some kind of patina on this as well. Now the alternative that you can have, and again, this was $25.99 off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description for everything. This was about 23 all together. We'll start with the knife. This is a modified old hickory. We went ahead and epoxied the handles. We used the same rivets. We did a nice char on the handles as well. A patina to help keep it from rusting. And I also, on my personal one here, I grounded the, the hump off of the back. Just for aesthetics, it doesn't really matter. 
And this is just the cheap K-Bar sheath. I think it was like $10 off of Amazon. It works great for the seven inch. So you have that option. This one's ready to go pretty much, minus a couple mods. This one you gotta do a few things too, but you do get a little bit more blade with this one. So it's purely your choice, but that's the comparison of the two. Just a little demonstration, see if it'll baton this piece of pine here. You've seen this baton with the seven inch. If you haven't, you go back and watch the old videos. You watch all of Hawkmire Outdoors videos. Wood's getting a little thicker. There it goes. Well, it'll be tall. So this is kind of a correction. I think we said that this knife was five inches earlier, the old Hickory Hunter. But for our sake, it does say on the box five inches. We're gonna go ahead and measure it. Tell you what y'all think. We're gonna measure the standard butcher knife and we're gonna measure the hunter here. So the hunter is, let me flip it around, coming in at about 5.5 .5 inches, five and a half inches. And the standard butcher knife is pretty much right at seven. But just wanted to make a correction if we did say it wrong earlier. Well then, Hawkmire Outdoors final thoughts on the old hickory hunter. We haven't used it enough to get a really good grasp on its pros and cons, but just right out of the box. I like it. I mean, it, the size is really handy. I mean, a little bit more handy than the seven inch. It's really just a scaled down seven inch butcher. Um, one thing I do like more about the hunter, the, the point here, it's a lot pointier than the butcher. That's handy if you need to get a, a cut started. You know, that's really nice to have when you're processing game or playing fish. Um, by that same, on the same side of things, so that tip is a lot thinner than the old hickory, the butcher knife. So if you're gonna use it to pry stuff open, and you do run a risk of maybe potentially breaking that. So that's my critique on that. The sheath, whereas the seven inch butcher doesn't come with the sheath, your hunter does. But I am kind of concerned about some of the stitching on here. It doesn't look very robust. Bear in mind, we haven't put this on a belt. We've never carried it. So this is just our first impressions. Hawkins, what are yours? Yeah, as far as the knife goes, I like it. Nice handy knife. Um, on the modding side, you don't have to do too much to it. You will have to put epoxy in the handle if you want this to like stay on. For me, I like the seven inch blade, so that's not too much of a draw for me. I like to mod and tinker and stuff like that, so that's not a problem, but it is a nice knife. As far as the sheath goes, it is made in China. I just found the sticker. You know, a lot of stuff comes from there, but the stitching is kind of questionable. We'll see if it holds up. We haven't used it. Again, we haven't used it compared to the K-Bar sheath here. It's a nice big, thick piece of leather, so. And one other thing, this is 1095 steel. But other than that, we're gonna try it out, we're gonna test it out, see how it does. We're gonna test it hard too. Yeah, yeah. I'm also maybe doing a mod video over this one. Who knows? But I wanna thank y'all for coming along. Yeah. And y'all have a good one. Stay tuned.